Okay, class, today we're going to be doing the experiment you've been waiting for, the generation and combustion of hydrogen. Because of the extreme danger in this lab, uh, I'm going to ask for some assistance, and there'll be various opportunities for you to be physically involved, but I cannot let you do this experiment on your own. And please, do not do this at home. Uh, only do it under the supervision of a trained professional. Uh, the question for the day is, can you classify and write two balanced chemical equations for the production and ignition of hydrogen gas? I don't think you have any problem doing the classification because you showed me yesterday on the online quiz you're capable of classifying one and all. Some better than others, but hey, we're just learning how to do it, so I expect there will be quite a range of uh, abilities right now. We are going to finish the day with another quiz on uh, classifying uh, um, reactions, so you'll have a second chance if you weren't satisfied with your performance. But writing the balanced chemical equations is going to be a little bit uh, more difficult because we just started that process yesterday, and, and uh, I'm not going to give you a whole lot of direction. I'm just going to remind you of the procedures that we use. And let's review those procedures right now. What's the first step that we learned the last day or two about trying to end up with a balanced chemical equation. What's the first thing a scientist has to do? Collect observations and evidence. You got to collect your observations and evidence. Once we have our observations and evidence, what's the second uh, thing that we've learned to do as a follow-up? Claire? Make a word equation. Make a word equation. Take that evidence and observation and put it into some more scientific chemical type language trying to derive what's going on based on the evidence that we could pick up on. Once we have our word equation, what do we want to do next? Write the chemical formula and then try and balance it. Write the chemical formula and try to balance it. Now, I notice, uh, Caitlin, you had an idea. Uh, what would be the one thing we haven't talked about yet using the star that helps us kind of do this whole process? Um, naming the type of reaction. Naming the type of reaction. Whether it's a combustion, a synthesis, a decomposition, a single um, displacement, or a double displacement.